Now, as we start the new year, some folks across the South will be serving up a plate full of tradition. Through our partnership with Mercer University's Center for Collaborative Journalism, Amir Makeupson takes a closer look at a holiday meal that dates back over a century. Colored greens and black-eyed peas. Many of us grew up eating the combination on January 1st, hoping that it would bring us money and luck in the new year. But where does that food combination, even that notion, really come from? I spoke with a food historian, and the answer, deeply rooted in Southern history, just may surprise you. This is for the peas, and these are for the collars already them prepared my spices and all everything in there. Richard Lockett has been cooking for a long time. As the head chef at Mima's in Macon, he knows a thing or two about soul food and Southern food traditions. Things like eating black eyed peas and collard greens on January 1st. Well, it's an old, it's an old slave tradition. Really, that's what it is. Dr. David Davis is a Mercer University English professor and food historian. I think when we're eating peas and greens on New Year's Day, we're actually doing something that is fundamentally Southern. But we're perpetuating a practice that is ultimately embedded in the culture of slavery. The food ties to the time period are well documented. Collard greens are um, a food that is persistent through the winter months. So it's very common to have collards still going fresh as late as December to January. And cow peas are available because they can be dried and preserved in the course of the year. So why January 1st? Davis says that history shows that slaves were given less responsibility between Christmas and the New Year, giving them reason to conclude this time period with a large meal. But there's also another theory. January 1st, for many families existing under slavery, will be the last time they would be together as a family for months. That's because, Davis says, many slaves were rented out to work at other plantations for a year, starting on January 1st. So how do these notions then evolve into superstitions? The grain was for, for money. You cook the greens for money. Uh, for the peas, the peas are for pennies. Uh, so you, it takes pennies to make dollars. So this is all I heard uh, coming up. Passed in oral tradition from family to family, and it gets detached from the culture of slavery. The tradition spreads across cultures from past centuries to today. And it makes even more sense as it transmits from African Americans to white families that the connection to slavery becomes downplayed and eventually lost. Again, Dr. Davis does emphasize that a lot of this is just speculation. Not much about food history was documented back then. But for whatever reason you and your family eat collard greens, black eyed peas, even cornbread in the new year, here's hoping it does bring you money and luck. In Macon, I'm Amir Makeupson. So do you enjoy collard greens and black eyed peas on New Year's Day or does your family prepare a different holiday meal? Join the Macon Food Story Facebook group and share your story.